In this video, we will find the inverse Laplace transform of y of s with two delay exponential terms in the numerator. Here we have the first term as e to the power of negative 1.5 s and the second term as e to the power of negative 2.2 s. The first thing we need to do is collect the terms that have the same time delay. Please review the Laplace time delay property or see previous video for more information. We now perform a partial fraction expansion for each time delay term. In our case here, we only need to perform the expansion for the term with a 1.5 second delay. In general, you must do a complete expansion for each term. Now we can do the inverse Laplace transform for each term. then we can include the appropriate time delay. If you notice, the first term includes no time delay. This is similar to multiplying the first term with e to the power of 0s. Now let's verify the results using the ILAPLAS function in MATLAB.
reading this MATLAB ILA plus result is maybe acceptable. However, when answers in MATLAB are longer, with many parentheses involved, it could be tricky to rewrite the MATLAB result in a simple form. Here, we will use the pretty function in MATLAB to make the results more readable. This will allow us to easily compare the MATLAB results obtained here with the one calculated by hand. Now, tidying the MATLAB results and rearranging the similar terms, we get the following. Now we have written the MATLAB results in a simple form. We can color match the terms of both results. It is clearly they match nicely. Please note you could have simplified the previous obtained MATLAB results one step further by converting fractions straight away to decimal numbers using the VPA function. Since our resulted expression contains symbolic variables, then VPA function is suitable and it stands for Variable Precision Floating Point Arithmetic. This is used to evaluate each element by element. In our case, we chose number 2 as our significant digits. And applying the pretty function again will make the results easier to compare.